So there's this game called 2048. You can play it on your computer or on your mobile device. It is essentially a game where you combine numbers of the same kind and they would join together and become the, the added number after that. So essentially you have a grid of 4x4 and numbers appear as you press the controls. The only controls you have is up, down, left, right. And when you join two numbers together, they become one. So if you push down, it becomes a 4. So one of the strategies you can have in playing this game is to make the highest number go towards one of the corners. Either you, you combine big numbers and then you can put like 64 here, and then 32, and so forth. If you pick this corner, you just want to push up and left most of the time. And you can essentially do this as fast as you can until a bunch of numbers collect and, and then you don't have to spend so much time collecting all the numbers. So other strategies prefer putting the biggest number on the lower right. In that case, you just push down and right um, as much as you can and collect the big numbers on this side. I'm just going to um, use one of the corners as an example, but really you can rotate it. Choose any corner you want. I'm just going to pick the upper left corner as, as my base corner where I want to collect all the highest numbers. You can really turn it any corner you want and do the same strategy. So here I've drawn a hypothetical maximum tile that you can get, which is 65,000. Um, in the last position, either a 2 or a 4 would appear. So if you happen to get a 2, you're stuck. You only get a 65,000. K, 65k tile. However, if a 4 appears, I've set it up in such a way so that you can es essentially cascade all of it until the very last one uh, doubles. So here you see 4, 4, 8, 16, on and on and on and on. So you, so essentially it doubles here, 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 and then it goes to 64, this one to 128, 256, 512. 512 needs to be right next to the other one. You notice that I've essentially put 512 right next to the same number here because if I didn't, there wouldn't be room for me to push this all the way this way and combine with that one. So essentially it would cascade all the way here. So the theoretical maximum tile that you can get is 131,000. At some point you might find yourself in this situation where if you push up, nothing moves so a new tile would not appear. If you push this way, nothing moves and no tile appears. You don't want to push down ever because if you push down, these tiles would move down and a new one may appear. So the way this works is that if you press the arrow key and something moves, the tiles would move to where they need to be. It would move to all the way to the opposite end until, until it hits the wall. And it'll look at all the free, free tile spaces and pick, pick one at random, say here, and it'll pick either a 2 or a 4 to appear. So here I've cornered myself into a situation where I essentially have to push to the right or down. If I push to the right, all of these will move this way and these positions will be open. And a number could appear in right at this spot. So if a number appears, let's say that's two, then I would not have this spot for my biggest number anymore and that would be a bit hairy to try and get rid of the two so that I can put my biggest number there. So here's a terrible situation because I've essentially got all these rows filled up. I cannot press up, left, or right. So I'm forced to push down. If I push down, all of these numbers here will be occupied and a number would appear in one of these eight spots. So if one of these numbers appear here, I can no longer move my biggest tile back into the corner position. 
essentially when a small tile takes up space in your in your most ideal location, it essentially moves all your all your tiles backwards so that you have less room to work with. So let's begin with the 131k tile. In order to get this tile, we must have had the 65k tile somehow before, right? In order to prove that the 131k tile can exist, is that if you had the 65k tile, you must have had the 65k tile next to it, right? In order to combine. So in order to get the 65k tile, we must have had the 32k tile. In order to get the 65 we had here, we needed a 32k. Also, so we can keep on going, uh, do this step on and on until we have what I was drawing before. So here's a hypothetical setup where I have 4, 8, 8, 8 at the bottom. I push to the left, I get 16 here. I push to the right, I get 16, 8, 4. And now that there's this open spot, either a 2 or a 4 can appear. Let's say it's a 4, then I would get the cascade effect where it would go from one to the other all the way to the end where then I would end up with the 131k tile. So let's say you're forced into a situation where a number 2 appears in the, in the corner that you chose. This is your big number here. And you want this, essentially you want to save the game and make this go back to the corner where you had it. Essentially what you can do is try to put a lot of tiles so that this fills up, it fills up on this column. And you can have whatever here. And then you press down and all of these would go down one row. When you do this, something else would appear here. And then you can push those aside. And once those push aside, you hope that nothing will appear at back at this spot. If nothing appears at this spot, you can proceed to push up and have this move back into the position. Of course, these, these tiles would be all messed up over here. But it's pretty important to have the highest tile in the corner in the first place. Then you can work on doing that with the other smaller tiles. So all you have to do in order to win this game is to pick a corner and gravitate all your tiles towards that corner, make, the, make it the highest, and make it so that the highest one is right in front of the next highest one. If you ever have an open spot here, do not push right, because something will fill up in this spot right here. But if you had something here, you can push all right all you want, because you're essentially working with this area. That becomes helpful because if if you push up and left most of the time, if this was the corner that you picked, then all these tiles would appear this way and then it'll come this way. And sometimes you might get stuck and there's no more moves left. So you essentially want to push right. So I did get the 2048 tile already. I'm still working on the 4096 tile. I'm really not sure if it's even possible to get the 131K. I have to think about that one. And um, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe or click like.